This is a short video by NHS Tayside's Children and Young People's Occupational Therapy Service. This video will look at one of our sensory systems known as interoception. It might be helpful, if you haven't already, to watch our previous video, which introduced all of the eight sensory systems. Interoception is the sense that helps us to notice when our tummies are growling because we're hungry or that our bladder is full and we need to go to the toilet. It involves the signals from inside our body. Our brain also uses these signals as clues to our emotions. For example, if you're feeling anxious or nervous, you may have a fluttering sensation in your tummy and a dry mouth. We know that our ability to notice these signals is really closely linked with our ability to label and manage a range of body states and emotions. Other examples include whether we're feeling sleepy, whether we're not feeling very well, whether we're in pain or full or feeling hungry, thirsty or how hot or cold we might be. There's lots of different emotions we might feel. If someone's interoception isn't working as well as it should, they might not realise that they need to eat, drink or go to the toilet. They might wear warm clothes in hot weather or find it difficult to notice and communicate that they're unwell or in pain. They might find it difficult to understand and control their own emotions and to understand other people's. Some children might experience stronger than usual signals and be oversensitive to their interoception. So a situation which may cause discomfort usually is one that causes feelings of pain. Or they might be very focused on their internal signals which interferes with their daily occupations. It is really important to take time to pay attention to your interoception sense. It is easier to do this when the signals are strong and changing. Like, how does your tummy feel before and just after a meal? Or how does your bladder feel before and after going to the toilet? Or how does your heart feel before and after running up a hill? How does it feel when you're worried and someone gives you a big hug? To help your child or young person pay more attention to their interoceptive system, you can comment on what you're experiencing in your own body and you can point out things that you're observing. For example, you look sweaty and red in the face. I think you might be too hot in that jumper. Helping and encouraging your child to label and notice how they're feeling might help increase their awareness of this sense. For more information and activity ideas, there are lots of brilliant Facebook pages and websites. Here are a few of our favourites. If you would like any more information from the Children and Young People's Occupational Therapy Service, then please do not hesitate to get in touch.